Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Crush Online. We're doing another play along activity today and it's all about Play-Doh. So have you got your Play-Doh ready with you? I hope so. What colours of Play-Doh have you got? I've got this purple colour Play-Doh and a green and a black. But you can use whatever colours you've got. Now you see that some of my Play-Doh, I've put some glitter in it. Can you see it? Lovely heart glitter. It makes it all lovely and shiny. Uh, I was doing that when I was playing with it the other day. Now, what can you do with Play-Doh? Can you roll it into a sausage? Oh, it's getting very long. You're very good at making sausages. Sometimes they're a bit difficult, aren't they? Oh, it's in a very long sausage there, like a smile. Did you know that using Play-Doh is really good for the muscles in your hands? Because it helps them work. When you squeeze it and when you roll it, it really helps all those muscles. So, what about I'm going to break my sausage in half and I'm going to make this into a ball. Go round and round and round. Can you make yours into a ball tea? Oh, look. It's a glittery ball now, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if it would bounce. Oh, a little bit. It's not too bad. <laughs> and you could catch it. Okay, I wonder if we can make it really, really flat, like a pancake. Make it super flat, press your hand down. Super, super flat. Oh, let's see. Mine's quite flat. Look, it's quite thin there, isn't it? I might spread it out a bit with my fingers. Can you rip this in half, look? Oh, oh, that wasn't a very good half, was it? Let me try again. Oh, ripped it into lots of little pieces. Breaking it up. Lots of little pieces. Could you make a pizza? We could do a really flat bit again. Press it down so it's really flat. And I'm going to put some toppings on my pizza. What shall I have? Hmm. This is green. What's well, something green that you can have on a pizza? You could have a green pepper, couldn't you, on your pizza? Let's do a pepper there. And another pepper here. I really like cheese on my pizza and I like pineapple. Some people love pineapple on their pizza and some people don't. I really do. I'm going to make some pineapple, but this will have to be black pineapple. Here's a piece of pineapple. I've never seen real black pineapple before. Just Play-Doh. Pretend pineapple. Have to be black. Oh, well, that looks delicious. Do you know what? This pizza reminds me of the story from the Bible that we were looking at last week. A story all about a man called Joseph. Oh, Joseph, do you want to stand up? There he is. Now, Joseph... If you remember from last week, um, had had a good life and then a bad life and then a good life and then a bad and good and bad and good and bad, and we saw how Joseph's life was getting better and better. And last week we saw how Joseph helped his brothers, and he gave them food, which this reminds me of, when there was no food to eat, and he saved them. They could live because he gave them food. And so the story continues and Joseph's life, get, Joseph's life gets even better. So, um, Joseph's brothers, let's get some of Joseph's brothers on here. Da -da -da. Here's some of Joseph's brothers. They were still in Egypt. Now, Joseph thought, 
I'm really happy seeing all my brothers, but I would be really, really happy if all of my brothers came and lived here in Egypt with me forever. So he went to the Pharaoh and he said to the Pharaoh, um, please, can my family come and live with me here? And the Pharaoh was like, yes, of course, Joseph. In fact, I will give you the best land in Egypt and your family can live there. So I'm going to make this Play-Doh into a big flat piece of land and make it even bigger. So if you can do the same, can you make a big piece of land? This is where the family are going to live on. I've got green, but you can use whatever colour. Oh, Joseph. You can use whatever colour you like. So they were able to live on this piece of land. So the brothers went off and they brought back with them all of their family. And they all lived in this land together. Here they are, and the brothers. They all lived together in this land. There were lots and lots and lots of them. Look all of those people. And Joseph was so happy. And do you know who also came? Joseph's dad. Now, Joseph hadn't seen his dad in years and years and years. And up until just recently, Joseph's dad still thought that he'd been eaten by a wild animal. He didn't know that he was alive. Well, when Joseph met his dad, he was so happy and he gave him a big, big hug. He was so happy. And I reckon that they might have cried happy tears. They've been so, so happy to see each other again. And Joseph's dad came to live with them too. Oh, he's having a little lie down there. Uh, and they all lived together. And Joseph lived for many more years. So Joseph and his family lived happily ever after in the land of Egypt. All because God had blessed Joseph. God had been really good to Joseph. And his life had gone from good to bad to good to bad to good, to bad, to good, to bad, to good, to really, really, really good. And look how good it is that he's got to live with all of his family. Now, I think we should make a smiley face to remind us of how happy Joseph was, all because God blessed him. Right, family, you're going to have to move to the side for a little bit. So that we can make a happy face. Hang on. There we are. So let me move my pizza out of the way. We're going to need another flat bit here. A big flat circle. Like this. Oh, that's a better side. That's less glittery side. Um, and I'm going to do some eyes. Look here, a little ball. I'll press that on for an eye. Can you make a smiley face? Can you do the eyes? It's hard to do it with one hand. You could do it flat, but I'm just holding it up to show you. And another eye. Ooh. And I'm going to do a long sausage like we did before to be the smile. Smile. You can go on there. Oh, look. A very, very smiley face. Joseph was so happy because of what God had done for him. Right, it's almost time to go, but let me pray first. Dear God, thank you that Joseph was really happy and you had blessed him all throughout his life. Thank you that you were with him. And God, thank you that you were always with us. Thank you that you bless us. And I pray that you will be with us in our lives too. Amen. 
It's been so lovely being with you again this week. I wonder what else you could make with Play-Doh. Maybe you're really good at making people or you might be good at making a different type of food. Or maybe you could try building a house. If you've got lots of sausages, you could stand them up and they might be able to make a house. Maybe they could hold it up. I hope you're better than me. If you make anything really exciting, maybe you could take a picture and send it to me because I would love to see it. I will see you again next week. Bye.